Hey, my Capricorns, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for your patience. I am bringing you your 12 Zodiac read, as well as your uh, three-month prediction to a current relationship you're in. So, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. We'll get started here right away. All right. Capricorn, your guys' overall energy is the fool in reverse. Hesitation, um, being scared, uh, not sure if that's even what you want. So you're just not doing anything for this group of you. All right. So if you're dealing with an Aries, uh, this person could be um, saying a lot of hurtful things. Um, there, are, You guys had a bad breakup in the past is what I'm seeing. And that is why you're unsure if you want to give them a new beginning because they are out of balance and you're not sure that this person um, is somebody that you want in your future. I don't see this one lasting through the beginning of the year or getting restarted. Yeah. All right, Taurus. If you are a Capricorn dealing with a Taurus, they are mourning the loss of you. Um, you two recently split up within the last three months. And they are heartbroken because you would not give them a uh, a new chance, a second chance. This possibly is a soulmate, however, um, with the two cups standing behind and the fool here. Um, you're just not sure if you want to give them another chance. And they're really, um, they're really sad about that. Have a little bit of depression over the ending of this relationship. Yeah. Gemini, the three of wands. So if you are a Capricorn dealing with a Gemini, they are waiting for you to come back to them. They are waiting for um, a new beginning with you. Uh, there could be a delay and that's why you are in the reverse here. Um, something could have happened where they, you guys are at a distance from each other and you can't um, be with each other just yet. If you do choose to uh, pursue a relationship with this Gemini or are in one right now, and you're not sure whether to give them a second chance, this is a good connection. This will be a strong relationship if you two do come back together. All right, Cancer. They have the Two of Pentacles. So they're kind of juggling a whole bunch of things, um, possibly even juggling two people, Capricorn, and that's why you're not sure if you want to um, continue with this relationship um, I do see this going both ways. If they get rid of the other person and come back to you, I do see you going, uh, and giving this a second chance. I do think it would be successful. I do see successful relationships here, but I also see it going the other way and you not, you not even wanting to deal with their cheating ass. So, all right, well, let's see here. Cancer. All right. Leo's. Yeah, this person is very good for you. They keep you grounded. They keep you centered. They support you. They love you. They got their shit together. Uh, they're just, they're an amazing person all around. I'm not sure why there's the fear here. I think it's, uh, or not, I think it's, I'm seeing it's because you've been hurt in the past um, and you're scared this Leo is going to do the same thing. I do not see it happening. This relationship uh, would last a lifetime if you two came together. This is a life partner for you guys. Yeah. Virgos, six of cup in reverse. So if you're a Capricorn dealing with a Virgo, this is somebody from your past, past life, um, or known them from your childhood. Uh, yeah, I do see this being a soulmate relationship that was come in to help you to love you, nurture you, help you learn your lessons and, and be on their way. I do see this relationship coming to an end between Virgo and Capricorn. Um, yeah, and you have children together for this group of you. Um, you will be civil. You will get along, um, but you're not giving them a second chance, Capricorn. All right, Libras, the five of wands. Lots of conflict with a, Lib a Libra um, in your energy. Uh, sorry, my foot fell asleep. Um, lots of conflict, arguments, um, possibly outside people um, butting their nose in your business or trying to uh, get with either you or, uh, your partner. 
Yeah, I do see you um, not giving this relationship another chance with the full in reverse. There's just way too much arguing, way too much. This person always has to be right, and it drives you insane. Yeah. All right, Scorpios, the chariot in reverse. So this person's having a hard time walking away from you, moving away from you. I see that you ended this relationship, uh, Capricorn. And they're not wanting to move on. They want a second chance with you. They're trying to convince you um, that a second chance uh, would be successful. Even though they're both in the reverse, Scorpio I and Capricorn, I see you guys making it work in the future. Um, it could be possibly right after the first of the year, however. So do I see this through the end of the year? No, but I see um, mid-January, you guys are going to come back together and give it a second chance. I do see it having success and being together for a long time. Um, if you do. Yeah. All right. Sagittarius. If you're Capricorn work, well, hello, Sagittarius showing up in your own. This person's very balanced, loving, um, nurturing, wise. This person is wise. They've been there, done that, learned the lesson and are here to help you through it. This is an amazing match for you guys. Um, just absolute. I mean, just the card itself is beauty. This person is very good looking, very attractive, very sought out by other people. And they want you Capricorn. They want you to come back. Um, even though the fool is in reverse, I see in November, you guys will um, try to make this work again. It will be successful. It will last throughout the uh, end of the year. Yeah. Capricorn. Capricorn dealing with Capricorn, your tower is coming down. This is something that has happened in the past, though. So this happened in the last uh, six months, and they're back, and they want a second chance with you. This is not going to happen. Um, you're not giving them the time of day. And even if you would come back together, it would, it would not work out for this group of people that I'm seeing. Um, there's just too much uh, reckless, reckless behavior is what I'm hearing. So yeah, most definitely not. Do I not see that going through the end of the year? All right, Aquarius. Yes, okay. Capricorn dealing with an Aquarius. This person is just uh, very up and down. There could be depression here. Um, very sad, very depressed. Um yeah, they're just emotionally drained. And I see neither one of you wanting to um, make this relationship work. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. And Pisces. Prince of Cups. So this person is going to come towards you and make you an offer. You're hesitant about it. You're fearful of it. Um, just because you've been hurt in the past, I do see you guys um, making a go of it uh, in the month of October, and this will be very successful as well. You guys make a beautiful couple. Pisces are just incredibly emotionally passionate. They're just, I just love every Pisces I know. I just love them. They are beautiful. Um, just they're they're uh, spiritual and their spiritual emotion and their you know, um, physical emotion, like here on the 3d and the it just like flows. It's just beautiful. I love you Pisces. So they are going to come at you with an offer. Um, I do see you accepting this offer though. You are holding off a little bit. There's a little bit of hesitation there, but you guys will come together and it will be successful, um, <clears throat> for this group of you. Oops. I apologize about that. About knocked that off. Okay. This next reading, um, it's the first card's your energy. The second card is the person you're dealing with, um, partnered with, waiting on, however the situation fits, whoever you think of. Um, if you're not with an actual partner, whoever comes to mind first is who that second card is about. The third card is your guys' shared energy, and the bottom of the deck is Spirit's uh, prediction card for the next three months, October, November, December. All right. Capricorn, what are we dealing with? What is Capricorn's energy for the next three months in love? 
the hermit. And you know, this actually matches the 12 zodiacs because there was not very many relationships going on. Um, it was, it was a lot of breaking up. So you guys are going within, um, you are, uh, healing over a heartbreak. You're healing over a broken relationship. Um, yeah, yeah. You guys are trying to find your spiritual center. You guys are trying to find what's next for me. Where do I go from here? You know, what is my next endeavor? Where, where's my path leading is all the questions you're asking yourself. The person you are connected to, dealing with, thinking of is the two of wands in reverse. They're holding back on making a decision. They're at a crossroads themselves and it, they're now going within um, to decide what it is that they want. Um, which path do I take? Uh, because I'm not sure what it is that I want um, out of this relationship either. Yeah, so they're doing a lot of introspection right now. They're they're sorting through their own thoughts and feelings and expectations um, in this relationship as well. The shared energy between the two of you, you guys are living at, at a distance from each other, but neither one of you are moving towards each other because uh, you just aren't sure whether you want to go back to this relationship or not. This is a relationship that you are in separation or broken up from um, because you are in your hermit they are deciding which path to go to move on or to work harder, to try harder, to come back towards you. So right now you guys are just at a distance, whether it's physically or emotionally. Yeah, I am going to get a clarifier here for this major arcana. Why does Capricorn have the hermit? Yeah, you're going within. You're, you're either heartbroken over a Sagittarius or you're going within to find balance. You're going to find inner peace, um, inner love, self-healing, self-love. Um, you're going to get that self-confidence back. And But most importantly, these are the two most spiritual cards in the deck. So um, more importantly, you're finding your spiritual side, your spiritual center. Um, you're finding your meaning of life. You're uh, trying to heal yourself so you can come back towards this person. When these two cards come out together, this is my male and female version of the twin flame connection because it's the most spiritual cards of the deck. What's the most spiritual connection? Twin flame, soulmate. So it doesn't necessarily have to be twin flame, but soulmates, most definitely soulmates. You are working hard to get back to your soulmate. They are at a crossroads as well. They're not sure. Wow, bottom of the clarifying deck is the ace of cups. Yeah. You're growing impatient, though. Both these cards are showing impatience. So um, don't rush your spiritual your spiritual journey. You'll get there quick enough. Your bottom of the deck and prediction card is the five of cups in reverse. You are going to heal from this heartbreak. You are going to let down this burden. Yeah, most definitely. You're going to heal, and you're going to be okay. And what is left in the background is the two of cups your soulmate. So you will, you will reach your point of healing and this couple will come back together. So I hope you guys enjoyed your, uh, 12 Zodiac read and your prediction for the end of the year. I want to thank you for joining me on my channel. I love you all and I'll see you next time.